Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to do something called concept mapping when you are trying to figure out what your response to that article is going to be. And the first thing you have to figure out when you read that article is what is your opinion? Do you agree with the author or not? So I'm going to pretend like I am writing a response to the article about using our smartphones too much. So we are going to be doing something called concept mapping. And basically what this is, it's a series of circles and lines that connect ideas. So I am going to create a circle in the middle of my paper and I'm going to write my opinion in it. So we spend too much time on smartphones. And that is my opinion. If you didn't agree with what the author said and you think that we do not spend too much time on smartphones, then that opinion would go in that bubble. The next thing with concept mapping is you are going to start writing things that relate to your opinion in um, the circles around your middle circle. So maybe I'll say that um, iPad is just like a smartphone and that could be like another idea that's connected and I might want to say a little idea coming out of that is I use iPad all day every day for school. iPad is used every day all day. And you know we have WebEx so I might put WebEx and that's like a texting tool so that could be considered kind of like a smartphone. And then I might also say that my, hmm, what else could, I'm trying to think of other things that could defend my ideas about how we spend too much time on smartphones. Well, something that pops up every Sunday for me is my screen time notification. I wonder if any of you get that too, where it tells you weekly what your screen time is. And I can tell you that that is a good indicator that I'm spending too much time on my phone. Um, I think last time it was saying that I was averaging like two hours a day on my phone. So I'm gonna write that down. Not to mention, Another idea that could branch out of my we spend too much time on smartphones bubble is I could also talk about not only am I on my iPad throughout the day, I'm on my phone. So I'm on my smartphone. And some of the apps that I use a lot, and I'm sorry I got on the TikTok bandwagon. I'm on TikTok. Well, I don't make videos, but I watch videos. I'm on TikTok. I watch Twitter. Twitter, or I, I go on Twitter, I'm on Facebook all day, I go on YouTube, and this is just daily. So you'll see that I started with one idea. We spend too much time on smartphones. And from that, I started to create smaller ideas that go underneath that idea of we spend too much time on smartphones. I have um, the fact that my iPad is just like a smartphone and I'm on it all day. I talk about what I do on my smartphone every day and I talk about my screen time notification and how many hours I have per day on average. So this is a great way, concept mapping is a great way for you to start to organize your ideas and add on and really add in those details to your ideas so that when you are ready to write, you have a lot that you can look back on. You can create this with um, you can create this with paper and pencil. You can create this with notability. Either way, it's up to you. But this is a great way for you to do some pre-writing strategies before you start typing it out. I hope that this mini lesson helped you with organizing your thoughts, and I will see you in my next video.